All right. So, as you can see, uh, I gave myself a little haircut. I'm uh, using the mirror today. I figured it would be easier to just use the mirror. But uh, I, you know, it was getting to be too much, right? But the thing is, is that I use I use the stimulators. So here and here, I've been using this for about six months. Oh, and here I broke that last night. Uh, I've been using this for about six months, and it has been. interesting I won't say it's been perfect but uh, it has been pretty dope and it's a process I don't want to end so the bulkiness of the previous one was just killing me so, let's see I'm trying to do this where you can where I can turn my head and you can see okay I guess I can't turn my head that much I'll, I'll post some pictures the main thing that I wanted to show is this so finally okay so i i did this color coded in a way so that um so that you could see what's what so what i have here so under here these are sensors and so these go here so these things under here they pull this forward which puts that pressure there right now these are elastic as well as the underlying structure so it's all elastic against elastic and I'm kind of playing on different thicknesses with it to get the tension that I need right mind you I haven't actually tested these sensors yet so there's a good chance that they won't work at all that's a lie they're gonna work so um, here this is nylon this is uh, I don't know if I've ever uh, mentioned that before but I know I have years ago if you take weed whacker line, you know, the, the nylon that weed whackers uh, use, that, uh, if, um, it's usually 1.65 millimeter and 1.75 millimeter is, a, is one of the standards of 3D printing. So um, it usually produces these really strong, really beautifully translucent parts, right? So what I've done here is we've got a difference in tension. So underneath there is you can see the small bands there see that you see those the little white bands under there those are very elastic and very strong oh here we go like this one I, I, I'm still working on the thumb just like that see so it's wrapped around the sensor right which isn't oriented properly but it's wrapped around it so they're stretched there right now the now the, the nylon is flexible but not stretchy so it's so when so when and it's uh and it pulls further than the stretchy so it pulls that down onto the sensor i've got to make sure that it's super accurate because uh the way that i do my sensors is that this center point here that round circle in the middle that is the uh that's where the pin goes and then around on the outside edge that's where the cathode goes, right? So there's the resistance built into the material, right? And then the pin will go into this thing. That It won't look like this. This is just a, a temporary one. I'll pr it'll probably be angled a little bit and it'll look fresh. But um, it pushes directly down onto that sensor. So the idea is, to, is that now uh, I've got this tension there that... Uh, that 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 puts all of that that creates that membrane that um that um this is for you see it's not a glove it's a membranic interface let me say that with a serious face it is a membranic interface membranic means that it's the imagine that your interface to another dimension is through the tips of your knuckles you see so instead of this being the interface right instead of that it's that you see see I have you can see um, I don't know if you can see it there you can there you go 
See, I've, I've, um, I've scarred my knuckles uh, significantly over the last, uh, especially year and a half or so, but for at least two and a half years. So, uh, you know, and I'll, I, I may get some new scars up here. We'll find out because uh, the, the test run is going to be in, in um, New York this week. I'm spending the next few days just getting everything ready for that. And then I'm going to be this continuously for better or for worse. So that's the reason why getting the, um, getting this to be fresh, it has to be fresh. I mean, it's going to be alien anyway. So that's just a given, but it has to actually be fresh. So I'm, you know, I'm getting the, I'm getting, um, finishing mainly. I want to get one hand working perfect and finished, right? Just get this perfect and then copy that over to the right, which usually ends up being uh, much better. Usually whatever mistakes and shit that I learned with the left hand, apply and make the right hand pretty much perfect. That's the, the way it's always been with all of my iterations, strangely enough. Um, and, uh, you know, and dewirifying this a bit more, you know, I'm going to take seriously the um, anxiety, the anxieties of people and wires. I don't have an anxiety about wires, obviously, but, you know, like I said, this is my, this is my face now. So it, it is a, you know, it's, it's a mutating canvas, right? So the main thing was that, that, that will calm that, all that anxiety down will be to have some super dope fresh shit on my hands instead of, uh, you see, look here, check this out. See, these were the super dope fresh shit last year. And you can see how much, you see how much different it looks, how much, I mean, of course, I haven't actually put wires and shit on this shit yet. Everything looks great without wires. So, you know, but I am taking each of these steps extremely seriously this time because this is my social construct, you see. So that's the uh, update for today. So uh, again, the hope and goal is that I will um, have this as uh, as a have this working today. You know, I mean, you know, I'm stimulating. I've got just to go into the stimulation a little bit. See, like the little flashing that you see here. This is. See, I don't know if you can see it. There it is. See, and so that uh, there's supposed to be another LED. So there's five electrodes going and I've got one here that's going, it's a pulse every 768 milliseconds. Uh, and so I do them in, in, um, in uh, relationships that fall in the binary space. So uh, this one is at um, 96, which is, if I'm not mistaken, that's about nine, 10, 11 times a second somewhere, but it's still within the, you know, I don't want to go above 16 Hertz. I found that six, above 16 Hertz, uh, I sleep, you know, and I sleep well and I dream well and I, and everything, and I'm rejuvenated and all that shit. But I find that if I keep my frequencies, you know, like these are like kind of what I call my root frequencies. These are going back and forth every 768 milliseconds, right? So they're just kind of doing that shit down there. Now, the one here is going at uh, 96 milliseconds and the ones here are at 128 milliseconds. So there's one here, even though it looks like two, there's one here, one here. So this is something I've been playing with for a while because I don't like, I, I didn't like actually, like reading from the brain, great, but actually, um, actually modulating on the can on the on the uh, on the uh, skull is not as it works, but I didn't like how fully 
it, you know, shut off all my voices, things like that, you know, it wasn't very fresh. So this allows me to get the electricity into the system in, in, uh, in places where it's um, not directly modulating uh, brainwave frequency, you see? So, uh, and it's only at like, I mean, it's at like one volt and 10 or 15 milli, milli, um, milliamps. So it's, it's as low as I can make it, right? And that keeps it nice and subtle, you know, and it keeps it in this nice space along with my other modalities. So that's that. Uh, so uh, I'm going to finish the thumb today start and start integrating the um that's the pi zero and the other pi and so the pi zero is going to replace the um the pi three for the hand so live long and prosper and uh i'm gonna i'll have this i should have this ready uh well i'll have another video which will indicate whether or not this is ready or not all right peace